I'm delighted to be able to give you one last message before you vote in the caucus. I'm interested very much in uh, getting your support. Nevada is a freedom-loving state. They, uh, they have believe in civil liberties and personal liberties. Well, we need to cut a trillion dollars, uh, you know, in, in the first year. But you have to change, uh, we all have to change our attitude of what the role of government should be. And the role of government shouldn't be to run the welfare state and also to police the world. Uh, we're in desperate trouble here. We should be spending that money back here at home. But also, you'd have to get rid of some departments. I have five departments I would remove. But I have exempted a few areas, at least for the beginning, that uh, we shouldn't be doing this by slashing Social Security or health care benefits. Yeah, we're, we're very excited. There are just a lot of people that, that love Ron Paul, and they see him as almost an a impossible figure. Uh, people after Watergate wanted honesty, and now they want someone who's incorruptible. There's corruption with, uh, with Wall Street. There's corruption with K Street and the lobbyists. And here comes this country doctor from Texas, won't take a bribe, won't touch the lobbyist money, votes against... Uh, any pay raises, won't take his congressional pension, gives back the, much of his money uh, allocated as a congressman. Uh, you, you can't believe a figure like this. He's incorruptible, and that's what people are looking for right now, someone well, who's not he, gaming um, the system. We have this very unusual, unique form of financing our houses, which, is, which has caused tremendous inflation in our housing prices through the financing of, of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, which in some ways the Fed participates. Just because low interest rates might help the stock market, might help the housing market, doesn't seem to me to be fair to the elderly who have saved their money, suffer from the inflation that still exists, at the same time uh, they lose their income. Well, the housing bubble is something that I thought about for a long time because I follow Austrian economics. And it's a shame that the people who knew about the housing bubble crisis and predicted it were never asked what to do about the solution. Because even 10 years before the bubble burst, I was introducing legislation to restrain the Federal Reserve as well as to remove the line of credit to the uh, Treasury from Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Yeah, you know, this is a secret that is hidden in plain view. You can go back over the polls for the last six months, and what you'll find, whether it's Rasmussen or NBC Marist or Washington Post ABC, what you'll find is that the perception is he's unelectable. It'll be 9 8% of registered Republican voters who think he can win. In those same polls, they pit him against Obama. He does better than all of the GOP candidates, and the CBS poll that came out on Monday showed that he beats everybody with independence, including Obama.